so guys once again if you can please subscribe to the channel and please hit the like button on this video so guys in this next news story four men have been jailed after a man was stabbed and left for dead in a car park the victim Malihi Ford was found fatally injured in Temple Hill Square in Dartford. The 22-year-old suffered a cardiac arrest and was pronounced dead at the scene despite the best efforts of medics. It happened around quarter past seven on April the 2nd last year when Emmanuel Nikumra Buansi and Jacob Afolabi arranged to meet Malihi in a communal parking area. They approached their target who was sitting in a car and during their attempt to rob him, Nikmura Buasi stabbed the victim, then fled the area. An investigation was carried out by police and both men were identified as being involved and arrested. Further inquiries linked the third man, Lee Garrard, to them through phone messages and he was also detained. Officers were working at the scene for days to establish the full circumstance and the death shocked the local community. Inquiries led police to believe Nakumra Buansi Afalabi and another man, Habib Kanu, planned to rob Malihi and using information supplied by Jarad. Detectives also proved Buansi Afalabi, along with Kanu, had taken part in an early robbery in Dartford on March the 25th. That incident left a man suffering wounds to his left hand and back, and Kanu was subsequently detained after the arrest of the other three and linked by officers to the incident involving Malihi. Police later confirmed they were treating his death in Temples Hill Square as murder and the CPS authorised a charge of murder against Afalabi and Buansi. They were also charged with conspiracy to rob and causing GBH with intent along with Gerard and Kanu. At Woolwich Crown Court, Buansi and Afalabi both denied murder. However, the jury found them instead both guilty of manslaughter and all four men were convicted of GBH with intent. So they were all sentenced a couple of days ago and the judge jailed Buansi for 21 years. When he's released, he will be subject to an extended license period of five years. Afalabi, who's 27, he got 21 years imprisonment. When he is released, he will be subject to an extended license period of three years. And both Buansi and Afalabi will serve 14 years before being eligible for parole. Kanu was sentenced to 14 years imprisonment and Gerard received 11 years and 8 months imprisonment. Kanu is required to serve 9 years and 4 months, and Gerard almost 8 years before they are eligible for parole. Investigating Officer Detective Chief Inspector Kathleen Way of the Kenton Serious Crime Directorate said, These four men have shown no remorse for their actions and involvement in these violent incidents. They were motivated by greed and had no hesitation in arming themselves with weapons in order to inflict serious injury to ensure they were successful. Their plan only ended when one young man senselessly lost his life. This was a brazen attack which happened in a small community which caused considerable fear and anxiety. And please, the jury has found them guilty of their crimes and they have been sentenced accordingly. So I just want to say rest in peace, Malihi, and my condolences go out to your family. So guys, in this next news story, a dangerous offender who committed a string of offences at bookmakers across South and South East London has been jailed following an investigation by the Mets Flying Squad. Michael Lindell, who's 41, appeared at Croydon Crown Court yesterday having pleaded guilty to 15 offences relating to nine armed robberies and attempted armed robberies. He will serve a minimum of eight years. Detective Sergeant Paul Bartlett from the Flying Squad said, Lindell is a prolific and dangerous man who thought nothing of terrifying the victims in these incidents in order to get what he wanted. These are people who were going about their normal work and they were thrust into situations in which they feared for their lives. The effects of these kind of incidents can't be underestimated. There may be no physical injury, but the psychological impact can be devastating. It is no exaggeration to say that London is a safer place with him behind bars. The offences spanned from May to September 2022 and were often similar. Lindo would enter the premises face hidden by a mask before approaching the counter and demanding cash from the cashier, at the same time pointing and threatening them with an imitation firearm before fleeing. He stole just over £9,000. 
Officers from the flying squad were informed of all the offences and began investigating them as a linked series due to the nature of the incidents. They identified Lindo as a suspect and in September 2022, officers began conducting surveillance on him. He was observed approaching a bookies on London Road in Tooting on the evening of 20th of September 2022 before using a suspected firearm to threaten staff and demand cash. Firearms officers moved in and Lindo was promptly arrested. The firearm he was using was examined and found to be a highly convincing looking limitation. CCTV, surveillance, witness, forensic and mobile phone evidence gathered during the course investigation would leave Lindo with no choice but to plead guilty. He had been on licence having served six years off an 11 year sentence for a previous armed robbery offence. A passage from the sentencing read, the defendant generally targeted premises where there were no customers often when there was a lone female member of staff working and often when the premises were opening or towards closing time. There were in total 11 different members of staff who were the victim of these robberies, some of whom suffered serious psychological harm. So guys, these are the pictures of two robbers convicted of killing a man in a drug deal ambush attack. Richard Hopley was fatally stabbed in Harborn in Birmingham on September the 22nd last year. The 44-year-old victim managed to drive a short distance away but collapsed at the wheel from his chest injuries and crashed his car. Nicholas Stallard, who's 41, and Paul Hales, who's 64, both from Harborn in Birmingham, were found guilty of manslaughter and conspiracy to rob at Birmingham Crown Court. The jury heard how Mr Hopley was acting as a drug runner, driving another man who was a dealer around in a Volkswagen Passat when the attack happened. Mr Hopley was stabbed by the rival dealer who had got in his car but became involved in a struggle as he tried to get out of court heard. The two defendants ran towards the car with Stallard dragged along the road as the vehicle drove away. Mr Hopley reached Metchley Lane where he crashed. Police quickly identified Stallard and Hales before the pair were arrested. Stallard was sentenced to 13 years while Hales received a 10 year custodial sentence for manslaughter and they're also sentenced to 6 years for conspiracy to rob which will run concurrently. Detective Inspector Jim Mahon from the Homicide Unit said Mr Hopley's killers were there waiting for him and despite efforts to drive away his injuries were too severe to survive. We were able to quickly identify Stallard and Hales as being prime suspects in the attack. Four men including Hales and Stallard were involved in the killing. The two outstanding suspects left the UK prior to being identified and we were working hard to bring them back to the UK to face justice. It remains unclear who carried out the stabbing and we believe there were four men involved in the ambush all were culpable of causing Mr Hopley's death and will continue inquiries to bring the others involved to justice. I just want to say rest in peace Mr Hopley and my condolences go out to your family. So guys there's a few news stories coming out of the streets of the UK. Woke up this morning feeling a bit under the weather but I'll survive. It's your boy GC. Keep it locked, keep it real.